can I help you? Yes, actually. I was wondering, is Sloan home? I'm... I guess you could say kind of a friend of hers? No, I, I don't think she is. I haven't seen her in a while. I... I'm sorry. Do you know where she could be, or might be? I really need to talk to her. I... I don't know where she could have been. She doesn't really talk to me much, or... or anyone, really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been much help. My mom says that I need I need to be a bit more helpful. But I I'm getting better. You might try somewhere around in the woods a little bit. Not too far. She sometimes goes there, I think. You can try there. Oh, thank you. That's helpful information. It really is. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I'll see you sometime soon. Okay? You could do what I tell you. You'd never see me again. Or trapped in your own misery. You wouldn't. You wouldn't leave me alone. How do you know? How do you know I wouldn't? What if I did? What if you got your perfect little life back? My life was never perfect. I would have my friend. I would have Ida. I would have her back. Everything went back. I would have a friend. Everything would be back to the way it was. No more friend getting in the way of your friendship. No more any of it. It all would be gone. No more Stella. No more Simbling. No more any of it. And no more magic would get in the way. Your life would be better. You know it. My life. I would have Ida back. I really would. I would have it. Without you, my life would be better. Sloan? Who are you talking to? Ida! No one, I... What are you... What are you doing here? Well, I was coming to get an explanation. But I... You won't believe me. I know you won't. I think I'm crazy. Sloan. You realize what my life has been the past seven months? I found out a magical world existed. I found out magic existed. I found out so many things. I think your explanation won't be nearly as crazy as my life has been. You're right. You can meet me somewhere. I think it'll help my explanation. 
okay. Where? You, you need to see it to believe it. So, meet me in the haunted woods tomorrow at midnight. <laughs> no, I am not meeting you somewhere at midnight, especially in the haunted woods. I understand if you don't want to come, but this is your chance to get an explanation from me. And I know you want that. So, if you show up, I understand. I'll be waiting. I promise. Where are you? I know you're around here. Didn't I tell you not to get interrupted in my plans? Yes, you did. But this is not involving your plans. It involves you and me. Okay. What? I suddenly have my powers back. And you were the one who took them away, so I thought you had something to do with it. Why on earth would I do that? Why would I give up my power? Well, I... I don't know. You were the only person I thought of who might be involved. Exactly. Why would I do that? Of course, I don't need yours anymore. I have my own powers. What? You, you, you have powers. Are your ancestors from Connet? Yeah. You know, if your ancestor, Vanessa, would have just lit lead. You wouldn't have to be dealing with me right now. You want to be mayor? Why? Emma, my family was banished from our home. Banished. Stripped of our power. Why wouldn't you think that I would want to get revenge? Well, I guess that explains so much of your actions. Before you ask, I know I'm late and I'm sorry. That's okay. We know you were doing something important. Yes, we do. Of course we understand. But you kind of played quite a big part in this. You have to get the heart chain. Which, uh... Where is it? No. You cannot know where it is. Okay, good. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, of course, I, I'm fine. I'm just, it's hard waiting, you know, anticipation of waiting on something. You know how that is. Oh, okay. You just seemed a little worried. What? W worried? Why? Why would I be worried? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. There's no real loss here. 
Are you second guessing yourself? Wh why would I be second guessing myself? There's nothing to lose here. And if I was, what would be the big problem? Cymbeline, you hardly ever second guess yourself. Or actually regret it. It has to be something pretty serious for you to actually second guess yourself. Fine, you know what? If you want to know the truth, yes, I, I am a little nervous and I don't want it to go wrong. I guess, I guess after the wall shattered, I, I've never fully recovered. I know that you told me to not, to not blame myself, but I can't help it. I feel like I caused all of this. Okay, I found it. Did I miss something here? No. We've just been waiting. Thank you. Well, okay. Cymbeline, you take this. You just have to think about the person. Okay. You're in between worlds. Could I learn a bit about history? You want to learn about history? Since when? We're here. I'm staring at a tree. You should have told me, you know. There was no need to. Simplane, you believed a complete stranger. That's why it doesn't matter. It's not working. That's okay. We can find something else. Here, let me try. I've used it before. But you've never met her. But I've used it before. It's worth a shot, isn't it? Well, here you go. Stella? What? I... I know you. You... You're Connet. Yes. You're the one for my dreams. I've been seeing you this whole time. Before any more questions are asked, there is something you must know. The wall. Everything you did to protect it. Help it. To try and heal it. It was never going to work. The wall was built for our protection. But protection came with a cost. It was said that after 500 years, a generation would have to find another way to survive. The wall was destined to shatter. 